Hey guys, so there is a lot of craziness out there and I don't know what to say about um, most of what goes on in the world because I don't even watch the media. I listen to uh, my friends and we have fun and we talk and we share love. So, But I do know this, if you are worried about your health and fitness, whether it's from a virus or from finances, I just can't eat right, I can't buy things right, it's really not that hard to get yourself out of worry and into the right frame. And it usually is just an action. Take one little step at a time. So I've done this before, but if you're like me in your 40s or 50s, or maybe even if you're if like my dad, he's obviously older than that, right? So if you're in that later stage of life and you're thinking, how can I get my health and fitness back? Maybe you're taking tons and tons of prescription drugs and you're like, how do I get off of this? Man, the first step is to fix your nutrition. Start eating right. And if you think to yourself, I don't know what that means, you can Google it and then you can research it. But if you're not the type of person that can actually do it on your own or stay committed, man, get a coach, find a mentor, get somebody, hey Julie, get somebody that will keep you accountable. It can be your sister, your mom, your brother, your, your, your kid. I don't really care. But accountability is key into a lot of this. So what I would say if you're thinking, well, I'm 40 plus and the future of my health is not looking good. And when viruses come up, hey Kyle, if you need to buy a house or sell a house, Kyle Stevens right there. So if you are in the Woodstock area, if you're in Michigan, don't go to Kyle because he's here in Woodstock with me. But um, uh, your health in, is mostly determined about by your nutrition and then your rest and then your physical activity. So first tackle your nutrition. If you don't know what to do, get a coach. It's the easiest thing to do. So if you're on a bunch of meds or if you spend a lot of money eating out, then you can cut those costs by getting a coach to teach you how to eat right and save a ton of money in this other stuff rather than in, in focusing on your health. Hey, Andrew. Um, so how did the Olympic lifting go today? Uh, so anyway, get yourself a coach. If you, if you struggle with the how and the why, that's what they're there for. There's tons of them. If you don't know who to, oop, phone call in the middle of it. I turned on do not disturb, but that didn't work. So if you don't know how or who to go to, uh, you can Google it. Give me a call. If you're local, I'll totally help you. If you're, if you're not local, I'll help you as well. I just may be, have to do some research. But point is, find someone to guide you, find someone to help you. So I don't have a personal doctor. I go to um, Dr. Lee when I need something over on 92, and he's a family doctor or a general practitioner, and I maybe see him once every five or six years to um, you know check things. But um, I don't take any meds either, and I don't do anything crazy. I just try to eat right, sleep well, and work out more than what I do in a normal day, right? So I'm a pretty active guy, so CrossFit is what I do. Um, so nutrition, that's a big part of it. Fix your nutrition first, one step at a time. The next thing would be get some sleep. And if you have trouble sleeping, there's some easy things you can do that they say work, and I've seen it and it totally works. First, ah, uh, this is weird, but my kids love it. Get yourself a heavy blanket. You can buy a weighted blanket and uh, ship it to yourself. It's cost more because it's weighted. And um, uh, I don't know why, I guess cocoon, like womb stuff. I don't, I don't know what it is, but a weighted blanket. The next is, they say the optimal temperature to sleep at is 62 degrees. That may not be great for you. That's freezing cold for me, but I think it's that nesting effect or something. So heavy blanket, cold. And this is gonna be tough for a lot of you guys. Take the TV out of the bedroom. Take your iPhones, iPads, and Samsung pads, or whatever they call them, out of the bedroom. So do that somewhere else, and then when it's time to go to sleep, go to sleep. So the bed is for, well, the bed's for sleeping and um, go to sleep, right? So make it what it is. So their habit isn't, I'm in here, I, do, I stay awake, I do these things and I force myself to fall asleep. Use your bed to fall asleep. Only go to bed when you're actually tired. Don't, if, if you feel like, you know, I'm not really ready, then stay up and do something, but go to bed when you're tired, right? So some easy, simple things. The last one on the sleep is make it black. You can either um, get one of those things to wear or blackout drapes, something, but that's what they say. 62 degrees, black, uh, some background noise, so a brown noise uh, versus a white noise. Um, or, I mean, I guess if you like rain or something, you can get that iDream as an app that just plays random noise. Uh, so, yeah, sleep. It's huge. It's a great way to repair your body and to reset yourself. I think 
you would make it longer having poor food, like eating McDonald's, which I don't know if that's even food, that's more like entertainment, you're eating entertainment, uh, than trying to go with poor sleep. So poor sleep is probably a bigger than your nutrition. So fix your sleep first, nutrition, and then sweat. <clears throat> the sweat doesn't have to be anything dramatic, just something more than you do today and more than you do in your daily life. So if you like to jog, great, you're already there. What should you do next? Hey, Brie, is do just a tad bit more, right? So set a small goal. So I like to have really big whys. I had a great conversation with one of my friends and he's like, your whys sucks and I don't need a why? And there you go. I'm like, okay, well, sure. But my why is I want, I do all this health and fitness stuff so I'm healthy and fit enough to coach my kids' kids in soccer when it's time. So that's what, 20-ish years away? My other big why is on my wall right here is a picture of the Appala uh yeah, right there, is a picture of the Appalachian Trail. One day, I wanna walk that whole thing in one go. So not like a section hike, but do the whole thing. We did a, uh, a, a, the, the Georgia AT in three days, um, me and a couple friends, uh, maybe eight years ago. And man, that was rough. That's like 90 miles in three days. It was pretty dumb, but it was kind of fun. So one day, so I've got some big whys. Why do I wanna be healthy and fit? The next thing I could probably give you is, besides having whys and goals, is to get a good mindset. One podcast that I've found that I really love, sometimes I'm like, eh, but, in general, I love what he has to say is uh, Ben Bergeron's Chasing Excellence. It's free. It's a podcast. Download it. Why you walk, run, jog. Hey, Chris, listen to something. Something that isn't like, well, your own echo chamber. So if you're a left-wing extremist or right-wing extremist, don't listen to that stuff. Find something that will actually help you. So Chasing Excellence is great. He talks about having how to have a better life. Um, and uh, uh, he uses stoic principles, so you know, you're only really in control of one thing, and that's your response to the stuff around you. So they can take everything away, but they can't take away the way you respond to whatever it is. So it's just a great podcast to keep your mindset correct. It helps you redefine winning. It helps you put things in perspective. It's, it's just great, and it's free, so why not use it? Um, you could also get a life coach. So uh, one of my friends, Zach, is a life coach. We do life coaching at our gym. There are tons of them out there. And it's not as insane as like, you know, my life is crazy. Hot. It's just helping you see your life in a different way. Another way to look at that is if you belong to a church, you may have a mentor ahead of you that helps you. Or maybe it's not a church. Maybe it's just somebody that's taken an interest in you. Someone to help you that you can ask that has no, they don't, it's like having a bookkeeper for your business. Your bookkeeper, it, well, I say they don't care whether you do well or not. They want you to pay them, so I guess they care some. But they're not gonna lie to you. They're like, here's your books. You're screwing this thing up, right? So the having that mentor, it's not their life. They're not vested in you as in you're my son, you're my daughter, or whatever. They're there to help you. And when you do the stupid stuff, they're gonna call you out on that. And that's what, man, when you look at true friendship, true friendship is not I unfollowed you on Facebook or get out of my way. A true friend says, hey, let's talk. And I'm willing to risk my friendship to tell you something that we all see that no one's telling you. And that's what a mentor does or a life coach. You pay them to do it. And so guess what? They do it. And they just tell you straight up what you need to do. So I just wanna say with all this craziness out there, don't be afraid. Take action. Do one thing at a time. One year can make a tremendous difference in your life if you make the steps, the small steps, that compound daily to get you there. So anyway, uh, good luck. If you need help, my phone is to the side. Call me if you need me. Take care.